Many people are heading to water. And so this next story may hit close to home. A butt bus, a boat crash rather at the Lake of the Ozarks killed a Jefferson County mother and wife and left her husband and only daughter seriously hurt. Tonight, many are mourning the loss of 42 year old Dawn Steincooler, who went by Marie. News 4's Emma Hogue spent the day looking into the details of the crash. Right now, Brad and his 13 year old daughter Hayden are relying on ventilators. We're told Hayden was transported from University Hospital in Columbia here to Children's just hours ago. Tonight, family members tell me they are seeing signs of progress, but are still praying these two pull through. They were always together, always together, whether it was a family event or whether it was work. This tight knit family built their livelihood around the water, a passion the Steincooler family helped turn into a business 14 years ago. It's a small family business uh, with the father, son and daughter and mom um, that they've built up over 14 years to one of the best team tournament trails in the country. Al McCullough co-owns the company Midwest Fish Tournaments that draws thousands to lakes across the region every year. He says Brad, his wife Dawn, who went by Marie, and their daughter Hayden have become his second family. We work so closely together. We would have breakfast after launch. Um, we would, you know, basically do everything together those 25 weekends out of the year. But tonight, McCalla knows his life and those tournament weekends will never be the same. The Steincoolers were boating at the Lake of the Ozarks just after midnight Saturday when investigators say this man, John Bennett, crashed into them on another boat. Marie was killed. Her husband, Brad, and their 13-year-old daughter are seriously hurt. First, it's shock. You know, no, this is not real. Um, the last time I saw them was at their 4th of July family party, uh, so that was about three weeks ago. McCullough says Brad was treated for internal bleeding and has fractures to his face and spine. Hayden, set to be a freshman at Rockwood Summit next month, suffered a punctured lung and multiple cuts to her face. McCullough says a family friend also on the boat helped keep her alive. He performed CPR on Hayden for 20 minutes so he can really be responsible for her being alive, thank God. As his family prays for their survival and healing, their tight-knit bond is now more important than ever. McCullough knows the worst pain for Brad and Hayden is still coming. The sad fact about it is um, they don't know right now. Um, that's gonna be another tragedy for the family to tell them that the daughter, that their mom's gone and uh, say his wife is gone. Friends of the Steincooler family tell me Marie would often donate a lot of the proceeds from those fishing tournaments to charity. Tonight, they tell me they are focused on making sure she does get a proper burial. As for that suspect, John Bennett, we're told he faces multiple charges, including boating while intoxicated, causing death to another. Reporting from Children's Hospital tonight, Emma Hogue, News 4.